Yeah. Um, and as, as long as you're talking about um, everyone's favorite person, um, how fucking how fucking lame is the repeated stories about like Mark Zuckerberg and Elon Musk fighting each other? I like it sucks that it won't actually happen because Dick Zuckerberg would clear him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he would wash him. He Dick would wash Zuckerberg him. would fucking own him. Like, <laughs> He's like I, uh, dude, Dick Sucker. I've seen Dick Zuckerberg train. He's like not horrible. And the only proof I have of Elon training, well, there's that one hilarious the Lex post. Friedman po- the Lex Friedman photo? One, no, no. Before the Lex Friedman post, he has one post where he's like, um, some like idiot, probably Dutch man, is making a thread <laughs> about like martial arts. And he's like, you know, jujitsu, judo is chad, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> you know, and Elon replies to it. And he's like, this is all very good. Um, I traded judo, Kyoko Shin Karate, full contact. And no rules street fights. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! When he said I trained in no rules street fighting, that is the most girlfriend in Canada ass thing I've ever heard. It. I I trained in no hold no holds barred street fighting. Yeah, he was. Was, just, was, he, was he playing Streets of Rage or something? What the fuck are you talking about? Him, like it was just him and other like anemic South African aristocrats like slapping each other in a parking lot forty <laughs> years ago. But he's Lex Friedman posted. Um, Still photos, not video of him. Yeah, not video. With Elon. Yeah, and was like, <laughs> e- oh, guess what, guys? Elon's actually really good. Which is like, Lex is a uh, black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, but he's a he's like tiny. He's, a, he's like four feet tall. What's the? What, is there a rank above black belt? Because he has that one in dick riding. <laughs> well, in, in, in BJJ, it's the red and black striped belt. He definitely has the, that. He's a tenth degree Dan, Dan in uh, dr- dick riding. He's but trained I, with all the Gracie family and riding dicks. Yeah, he is. I mean, I really do think that he's so mystified. Like Lex Friedman is dumb as shit. My friend Charlie this week told me that uh, at one point Lex, at the outbreak of the uh, special military operation, Lex uh, unfollowed everyone except for Putin and Zelensky, <laughs> which is the dumbest fucking. That is so fucking. Get them both stupid. on his show. Get them both on his show. We'll yeah. clear this up. Yeah, so Lex Friedman seems like someone who, like, his house is arranged like chess pieces or something. <laughs> and he's like, I'm always in a game. He's that stupid. <laughs> so he's he's absolutely, like, mystified by Elon Musk and probably, like, <laughs> even though Elon's, like, fat and, and weak and, like, bad at fighting, he's like, oh, uh, he actually beat my ass. He's just so um, hypnotized by Elon's bullshit that he let it happen. But Mar- Mark is... You know, there's pure hatred and pain behind Mark's eyes. Yeah, exactly, Felix. Like, I, I, I mean, I, I know Elon Musk must not, must not be having a good time, but like, he seems like a, a genuinely dim-witted oaf. Whereas, like, when I see yeah. the fact that Mark Zuckerberg is like doing Brazilian jiu-jitsu, like, I see, you're exactly right. I see those photos of him training, and I just see hatred. I see rage at like you know uh, i don't know like that girl at harvard that didn't call him back or whatever i'm he like i think he's so sick of just like being synonymous with like weak chin dork that like he's he's turning into a killer he's yeah, turning he's, no, going, he's going tyson mode no one has ever liked him that's the other thing <laughs> yeah, like yeah, elon, yeah, exactly he, elon is like less popular than he used to be but he still has fans and he's had a lot of fans in the past there's never been a period where people are like mark zuckerberg's awesome people have always been like kill him he's this guy i hate looking at him kill him now <laughs> he's always been detested and i really i think he's sick of it um look i see a lot of celebrity training footage mark's not the worst i've ever seen he he kind he can kind of kick he kind of knows what he's doing it's not bad for a guy who just started like in his 40s it's more than enough for him to destroy musk the ufc said that they would put this fight on Dana White <laughs> Dana fucking Dana White this uh he said he said first of all this is not a gimmick fight <laughs> <laughs> is, we're not yeah this isn't like Japan this is a real fight um so, but this isn't like when Mickey Rourke does a boxing match with like a, a like a 70 year old homeless man in Russia yeah I mean this isn't a joke folks Gimmick fights in MMA, you, the UFC has put a few of them on, um, but they were more commonplace in Pride, which was the UFC's biggest competitor in Japan. 
And Pride, like the USC's gimmick fights, I think are stupid. They're very low, low imaginations. It was it was stuff like, you know, see we're gonna have CM Punk fight like a four and oh guy. Like, oh my god. Oh, can a pro wrestler is 40 fight? No. <laughs> um we're gonna we're gonna have James Tony, the heavyweight boxer and light heavyweight boxer fight Randy Couture, a far, former USC heavyweight champion. Oh, I wonder how the guy who has never had a single MMA fight, I wonder how that's going to go. Yeah, but it's like he's only ever down, used his hands. Yeah, yeah he's going to get taken down instantly and, yeah, arm triangle choke, well, which is what happened. I, but when in Japan, when they had gimmick fights, they were awesome because the gimmick was always like fat guy versus homeless guy, <laughs> actor versus alcoholic. Just yeah. like schizophren- schizophrenic versus... Uh, guy we fooled into coming here it was the closest thing you could get to the real life version of the history channel's deadliest warrior yes yeah or gladiator match they were great they had legitimate fights and they had those fights and they were awesome but dana like hates that because he's like you know they made a mockery of the sport by having a former nfl player fight a four foot one japanese guy (laughs) (laughs) and it's like no that's what the sport should be then he's, he's like, who who would win? Who would win it? Who when they get a step in the octagon? Mark Zuckerberg or a thousand ducks? <laughs> I I yeah. I it sucks that this won't happen though. That's really what's sad. Well, I I agree with you, Felix, that uh, Zuckerberg would would absolutely wash Elon Musk. But here's the thing: I'm I'm breaking down the tail of the tape. The only thing I think I think Zuckerberg might run into a problem with is like, how do you get like a lock around or your arms or legs around M- Musk's like enormous, the tr- enormous trunk of his torso? Like just how yeah. wide and sort of large his whole upper body. And I don't mean You're- large in like a jacked way. I just mean like his 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 abdomen is very dis- uh, okay, like you're, disturbing you're, to look at. You're joking. But that is literally there was an undefeated. This isn't an M- MMA, but this is in Greco-Roman Olympic wrestling. There's a guy, um, uh, fuck, what was his name? The Karelin, Alexander Karelin. He was this undefeated Russian Greco-Roman wrestler. He looked like he looked like he was out of a comic book. He was a Rob Liefeld illustration. He was terrible. <laughs> he was like fucking undefeated. He was so fucking good and so strong. And he would pick up these guys who were like 300 pounds by the time they rehydrated and just throw them fit, like just through the air like they were ragdolls. His streak came to an end when he he went against Rulon Gardner, who was oh right the American guy, yeah, the American who wrestler. Later ended up on the Biggest Loser, World's Biggest Loser, yeah, yeah. He, a very strange life, Rulon Gardner. For a lot he, of he reasons. dropped out of World's Biggest Loser. I remember watching yeah, that he, season. He went home halfway through the show. Well, he, he lost he had, like he lost like fifty pounds in a week because he's a wrestler and can cut weight. And then was like fuck this, but he, no, really and then he weak. gained it back. He gained it yeah. back. And that's why he went home. <laughs> Really weird, really tragic life, Ruan Gardner. But Ruan Gardner was able to beat Corellin because Corellin, his famous move was the Corellin lift, where he got behind you and like did sort of like an S grip and threw you. He could not get his arms around Gardner's American gut. <laughs> that is so there is some precedent towards that. But yeah. Musk does have those really unnerving, gross little legs and uh, if Mark Mark could just get a single leg and probably drag him to the ground, you remember you remember like when we were kids, there was that um, rumor that Marilyn Manson got his lower ribs removed so he could suck his dick. I think Musk got about six extra ribs put in to stop him from <laughs> sucking his own dick. Yeah, he looks like he swallowed a bird cage. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that picture of him on the boat is oh, it's, it's oh, not so good. Awful. How do you look like that? Uh, what it's, happened? That's not how that's not how a human body looks. It's like they, it's like because it's not the normally it's not even the normal way that like I get fat. You know what I mean? It's 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 odd. It doesn't add up. It's like if he was eating 3000 calories a day, but only those weird like zero sugar candies that are like plastic. <laughs> it's like if you got all your calories from things that your body can't digest. 